Breaking news now out of Splendora. That's where a four-year-old boy has died after an ATV crash. It was a horrible accident at a place so many folks go to enjoy riding their four-wheelers, their motorcycles, a place to camp out in Montgomery County. It costs $20 a day to ride out here, but on the Creekside Ranch website, there are clear warnings, including this one. Don't be a litter bug. Do not throw your trash in the campfire. But did the owners of this property practice what they preached? An investigation by Textile says that on at least six occasions, hazardous materials have been illegally dumped on this property. The company accused of illegal dumping is HMI. They have now lost a lucrative state contract they had to clean up Houston Freeway accident spills. The ATV park is owned by Cole Bishop. HMI is owned by his daddy. Travis Bishop just the guy I wanted to see. Former Montgomery County Constable Travis Bishop. Months ago, he challenged us to back up our investigation that began with allegations his company was ripping off taxpayers and insurance companies. Allegations of overcharging for cleanups, unnecessary equipment, and lane closures. You got something to file on this man? Go file it. You got it. Okay. While we were investigating, we uncovered evidence of motor vehicle fraud. We got the receipts of the actual vehicles. Mm -hmm. There's a big difference in the money. You gotta file something someplace, go file it. We did, and the state controller's office opened a criminal investigation. Law enforcement sources now tell us they provided the Montgomery County DA with a case to take to the grand jury. Only the DA can explain why that hasn't happened. The new TxDOT report confirms what we thought. HMI cheated taxpayers, keeping overpayments, inaccurately reporting waste deposits, billing taxpayers for disposal costs that insurance companies should have paid. Trucking companies Companies have also now filed formal complaints with TxDOT about their invoices. We knew months ago there was evidence of illegal dumping at this site, also used as a storage yard for towing companies owned by Bishop and his relatives and business partners. We had received a sworn affidavit from a former HMI administrator. Now another former employee has come forward accusing Bishop of illegal dumping too. He would take the tanker trucks out there with the contaminated water with oil and gas and whatever else and go dumping out there. He has to, um, like several little spots where he would dump it. Thomas claims he was told to dump contaminated material at another property owned by another HMI executive, Dustin Rutherford in Montgomery. Dustin had took a whole uh, roll off container full of some type of hazardous chemical pellet and, and dumped it out the back of his property out in Montgomery. So Man Thomas says he was one of the few black employees at HMI. He reached out after we broadcast this embarrassing episode. Like I said, if you want it, you gotta work for it. I ain't about to hold you niggas' hands. An employee of Rutherford's All Points Towing Company posted a video with a patrol car on top of a wrecker after the company won the Montgomery County Sheriff's Office towing contract. They were bragging, but the video included the N-word in a song, and one county commissioner's office said they would move to cancel that new contract, but no one's done anything. Thomas says the use of the N-word at his job was one of the reasons he quit. Behind that word and them being dishonest about you know, about doing what, what they was doing because I knew it wasn't right. And we now have multiple employees claiming HMI inflated cleanup bills. All of the employees were bill for being there and then they weren't actually there. TxDOT says they did not identify evidence to support the allegation that HMI falsified payroll documentation submitted to the agency. But how could they? We've learned TxDOT employees watching the cleanups often fail to police them. TxDOT's not allowed to give the authority to tell us not to unless we're incapable. Kind of sort of. I'm positive that we're in a lawsuit with it. Kind of sort of. HMI is located in Montgomery County, along with multiple towing companies they control. Other towing companies have complained Bishop's companies are getting special treatment. When we documented how a new towing rotation would be unfair because so many of the companies were owned by Bishop and Rutherford, the county attorney and the sheriff didn't seem to care. Our latest discovery won't help the perception. When the Montgomery County Sheriff suddenly decided to put out a new bid for a contract to tow his patrol cars, we were told it was because 
All these towing companies were complaining, but emails don't show any towing companies complaining. We've now obtained emails showing it was all the sheriff's idea. Quoting, given the current climate with towing companies, Sheriff Henderson prefers to initiate a formal bid process. The purchasing director questioned why. I would like to reiterate, this doesn't need to go through a formal process. Three of the four companies that ended up bidding are all linked to Bishop and Rutherford. One bid, one dollar. Maybe they were the only ones who wanted this new contract. So let's let's talk about Travis Bishop and Dustin Rutherford. Oh, okay. Yeah, whether it's true or not, Sheriff, whether it's true or not, lots of folks that think you did favors to them, that you're like, you're looking out for them. It's a perception I think. You know it is, Sheriff. It's well, I would absolutely disagree with that. I don't know where that perception would come from. I disagree with that. I have no connection with Travis Bishop. He's a, he's a former constable, I'm the current sheriff. But now that TxDOT has busted HMI, will Montgomery County commissioners take action against Bishop's towing companies? The controller should now be asking why the local DA hasn't taken their case to the grand jury, why the county's environmental department never investigated the illegal dumping claims before. We've now learned the Texas Parks and Wildlife Department is now investigating. We can go find the illegal dump sites ourselves, but Bishop's charming wife has made it pretty clear we're not welcome back. Don't touch you the equipment. You need to get out of here. Well, we're leaving. You, you need ask. to get out of here.